All right, it's uh, 2.24. Uh, I'm now here in Subic. What's up guys? How are you all today? Uh, just uh, doing a quick vlog because uh, I haven't been vlogging for a long time uh, given the uh, pandemic and um, I'm not really in the mood to do any vlogs during this uh, whole COVID situation thing uh, but right now um, since I am uh, out riding uh, I just decided to uh, maybe do a quick quick conversation with you guys I just wanted to document uh, this trip going to Subic um, taking the new um, Skyway so this is not the first time that I've taken the Skyway um, I've actually taken it um, some times before uh, with friends uh, when, when it was first new and when we were trying it and it was uh, pretty cool without passing through the traffic of uh, EDSA just uh, be careful guys that if you're actually going there um, you make sure that you follow the speed limit because it is not fun getting flagged down by the officers as what happened to me and my friends some months ago that was not a fun time retrieving memory file the reason for the slow speed limit is because the skyway uses variable direction traffic lanes this means that there are no permanent lane dividers between the opposite lanes as they can be modified to allow more lanes for northbound or southbound traffic depending on the traffic situation. The speed limit prevents head-on collisions from cars that lose control due to overspeeding. So yeah, there's that. So, uh, I'm now here in the Skyway entrance. We'll see how long we get to the uh, North Luzon Expressway. I'm taking you with me on this ride, but just make sure to follow the rules, otherwise you're, get, you're gonna get caught here. And um, hopefully there's not a lot of cars and that uh, we get through uh, with no incident. Skyway speed limit is at right. 60 kilometers per hour here. Ride slowly from now on. So, just for reference, uh, I left the BGC around like 12.30 and according to the clock, it's like 12.38 right now. So, as for the starting point, it's 12.38, so let's see, with moderate speed, how long are we gonna get to the North Luzon Expressway? Alright, so see you guys in a bit. <sighs> Damn, that was slow as fuck. <laughs> so, we, it is now 12.54, we entered around 12.48, so that's a few minutes from uh, Makati. Uh, now we are at the NLEX, so I think it's a pretty good time, right? If you think about it, because if you had crossed EDSA, then that would probably take you like super long, maybe an hour because of the traffic. So this whole uh, Skyway situation that we have here is a pretty big cool time saver. So I highly recommend it, uh, especially right now during the, uh, this period where it is uh, currently right now for uh, free for use. Uh, but who knows how much it will cost uh, when you know when when COVID's done or when they start charging for it uh, in any case kudos to um, San Miguel Corporation which is essentially the folks that have invested in that infrastructure big help uh, to the commuting or to the public and oh man this sucks the easy trip scanners are not working again however it looks like help is on the way Okay, na. Okay, thank you. <laughs> as I was, as I was saying, it's now 12:56. Uh, I'm now in the North Luzon Expressway. I'm headed to Subic, uh, and I'm not gonna do anything fancy. There are speed cameras here, and we don't want to break the law. We just want to find out how long this trip will take in a relaxed. Uh, chill ride fashion so I'm taking you guys with me just so that you have data about a motorcycle trip 
so see you guys in a bit on our next stop. Ano, full tank boss? Full tank or oh, yung 95. Alright, gas is done. We can continue our trip. Thank you, boss. Alright, let's continue. Gas gauge didn't reset. It is, uh, it is 122 as we resume our journey after that quick gas stop. Next up, SC Tex. So it is 1.36 uh, approximately, 1.36 p.m. and we just arrived here in SC Tex. It's pretty hot. My god, it's hot man. The Ducati's heat is not helping. All right, see you again in the next checkpoint. Mother fuck. Oh shit. <laughs> Alright. Just did a quick check just to make sure that we are on the right track. Ah, fuck you, Google Maps. Alright. So that was the mistake that I got a while ago. We're supposed to go straight, not right. Damn you Google Maps, but all's well, we're still alive, so the journey continues my friend. The Subic Clark Expressway or SETEX is the Philippines' longest expressway which is 93.77 kilometers long. It connects the provinces of Mataan, Pampanga and Tarlac and is popular for making Subic Bay and Clark Freeport Zone very accessible from the North Luzon Expressway. It is a scenic drive but can be pretty tedious even when riding a motorcycle because of the length and often strong winds that rock bikes back and forth. I remember I got a stiff neck here when I was riding my Honda CBR 500R years ago. To pass the time, you can listen to music or talk to a riding buddy if you have one, uh, as long as you have a motorcycle intercom or headset like a Cardo or Sina. However, since you're most likely riding at high speeds, you may not be able to hear anything if your helmet is noisy like the AGV that I was using. Some slowdown in uh, SC Tex because there's some construction. All right, what time is it? It's 2:21, uh, and we are here at the toll booth. I think we are also near Subic. Uh, I actually don't know where I am. All right. So what we'll do is. We'll just do a quick check on our maps just to make sure that we are on the right track. Looks like we're good to go. My phone overheated. Uh, basically, it's too hot today, so it shut itself down. <laughs> Super annoying, especially when you're using it as a map. But we're on the right track, and uh, just 11 more minutes, and we're there in Subic. Actually, uh, even less than that. It's uh, 2.24. Uh, I'm now here in Subic. This is the tow booth, and um, yeah, that's basically it. So maybe around like two hours to get here, and um, <laughs> this is that's how much time you save, man, when you take the uh, the Skyway. So as a summary, how long did my ride to Subic take me? Let's look at some statistics. I left BGC around 12:30 p.m. At 12.38 p.m., I entered Skyway from Buendia. After filling up with gas at Total, I entered SCTEX at 1.36 p.m. Finally arrived at Subic Bay Toll Barrier at 2.24 p.m. The total time is around 1 hour and 54 minutes. This is with one gas stop, getting lost, and generally relaxed riding. Generally. But wait, that's not all. I also timed my ride on the way back. This time, I did not get lost, so the ride was more efficient, but it rained in Enlex, so the flow of traffic was a little bit slower. I left Subic at around 3.23pm from Petron and entered SCTEX at 3.30pm. 
I reached the NLEX exit at around 3.52 p.m. It was raining in NLEX, but I was at the Bukawe Toll Plaza by 4.25 p.m. and I entered Skyway at 4.36 p.m. I got gas at Petron Harvard in EDSA before finally arriving at BGC at 5.02 p.m. The total time was around 1 hour and 39 minutes. This is with one gas stop and not getting lost. I'm sorry if this video was absolutely useless. However, if you made it up to this point, why don't you check out other videos of Moto HK? Ride safe everyone and stay safe.